of the United States. President Joe Biden tonight delivering his first official State of the Union. My fellow Americans. Speaking to the biggest invited thank crowd thank at the Capitol you. since the start of the pandemic. The president's words coming at a critical time. His presidency faced with the most significant invasion in Europe in decades. And there's no question that Russia is the aggression. And then there's the economy, with consumer sentiment hitting its lowest level in a decade, with inflation on the rise. Average people are getting clobbered by the cost of everything today. All of it, as the president and his team hope to put the pandemic in the rearview mirror. We're moving toward a time when COVID-19 won't disrupt our daily lives. So how will President Biden describe our State of the Union? It's never, ever, ever been a good bet to bet against America, and it still isn't. From NBC News Now, a presidential State of the Union, live from Washington, here's Hallie Jackson. Hey, I'm Hallie, and listen, this is a big night for President Biden. We've got your back as we get ready for all of it, with the four key things to watch as he makes his case to all of us in prime time. And you know we're starting with Ukraine and the situation with Russia, the possibility of this split-screen moment there, and the president's message that Vladimir Putin was wrong and the U.S. and its allies will not be divided. Then here at home, watch for the president to lay out his plan for the economy. You've got unemployment that's down, but inflation is up. So listen for how he talks about that and what he's going to try to do to get inflation under control. What is under control, the president says, is the pandemic. That's another key theme in this speech tonight. And an interesting optical moment here, his audience, Congress, they'll be mask optional for the first time in months. And then there's this other kind of hard to define vibe we're going to hear about unity. So what does that look like in a Congress that's divided on his agenda, especially on the climate and infrastructure? Get ready to hear a lot more about building a better America tonight. That is the theme du jour. And keep in mind the political backdrop to all of this. The president has approval ratings that are below 40 percent right now. It's not the trajectory the White House wants to see tonight. Again, a lot at stake as the president makes his case to millions of people. We will have our team everywhere. You're going to see this control room wall live. This is what we see live in our control room. We're going to have it up all night long because for the next 60 minutes, we will be telling you everything that's going down as the president gets ready for his speech. And as we showed you, the best reporters in the business to talk about all of these topics that we just mentioned from the Capitol to the White House overseas in Ukraine. Senator Mark Warner, chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee, will be with us, too. You know there's plenty of headlines on that front. We also have our Republican and Democratic insiders with us for their perspective on what President Biden needs to do. And then, of course, on the set with me, our friends for the next 60 minutes, Yamish Alcindor, Anna Palmer, Jeremy Bash. We're glad to be with all of you, and we're glad to be with you for our special State of the Union coverage right here on NBC News Now. Let's get to it. Let's get to Kelly O'Donnell, who's over near the White House. And Kelly, we are now getting a...